Hello, beautiful souls. Someone around him convinced him at the time to either abandon you, betray you, or to not be there for you when things were really messy or difficult. And at that moment, I feel he made what is now the biggest mistake of his life. He regrets letting you be betrayed by him. He regrets letting you walk away. This masculine may have even entertained other options at that time, because he believed that this was a connection he would be able to let go of or release. That may have been the betrayal. It may have been that when the two of you separated or had some type of disagreement or an issue, the masculine seemed to move on very quickly, whereas you, divine feminine, were the one grieving this connection. Now it's like the tables have turned, whereas at that period of time, the masculine may have appeared to move on very fast. And you, divine feminine, may have appeared to be grieving. Now it appears to be the opposite. It's as though the masculine has never been able to fully move on. He's just been utilizing other romantic situations as distractions. Whereas you, divine feminine, after that grieving process, may have actually called in some very powerful new spiritual romantic connections into your life, some new options that are actually very viable into your life because you've been living very authentically, very aligned with your true self. Whereas this masculine seems to have chosen more of a karmic path in the time since the two of you have physically connected. However, that does seem to be changing. It's like he's having a change of heart here, desiring to no longer choose a karmic path, to again return back to his roots, to his core essence, and to really realign himself in some type of way here. And what he's really desiring, focused on, is stability with someone that he feels a divine connection with. He's tired of these distractions. He's feeling defeated by his own self, essentially by his own patterns, and that karmic justice with the justice card is coming back around. This masculine is facing the consequences, in a sense, of his actions, of the things that he regrets in the past, and realizing those consequences through this realization, through this revelation that it's been you all along, and that he may have let you get away or let you walk away. All I keep sensing is like all of this energy coming back around again. And here we have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups together. These are two really powerful cards for long-term stability, for possibly even a marriage here. I feel like this masculine is tired. I'm hearing tired of playing games, either in his life romantically, in the dating world. He's tired of these distractions and really desiring a form of long-term stability. With the Four of Wands, this can also be a really powerful soul reunion card, even a twin flame reunion. So this could be a twin flame reunion window that is really opening up, that's been in the making for a long time, that is now beginning to pull you into it energetically, divine feminine, if this is a twin flame situation. If not, this could be a high-level soulmate that is really manifesting another chance with you back into their life. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe. So, wow, very powerful reading coming through today. I hope this message reached whoever is connecting with it. Again, I'm really feeling that this reading specifically is very specific to a group of people. So, I would love to hear from you in the comments if this reading is for you and something connected with you. The Energy Oracle Cardstock. A message that came through is that someone is afraid. I feel that whoever I'm speaking to here will most likely resonate as the Divine Feminine. However, of course, these labels, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, are just labels, so only take them as they connect with you personally. But I am getting a really powerful message right away from a Divine Feminine Spirit Guides. Now this is regarding a person who is afraid of the intensity of your love and the depth of your energy. 
This could be a romantic or platonic situation. This could also be a theme in your life, divine feminine. So you may have had experiences where you met people with unconditional love before they were ready to receive that love, where you saw people clearly for who they really were at a deeper level before they were ready to see themselves. So this could be thematic in your life. I spoke on this in recent reading videos as well. But I do feel that for many divine feminists I'm tuning into here, there is a specific masculine energy coming through who is afraid. And their fear is connected to this unconditional love that you're showing them or that you're emanating or exemplifying to them. You may not even necessarily be doing anything in the physical world toward this person that shows that love with words or actions. This could just be a frequency that you are emitting. And the word intimidated is coming out, like this person is intimidated by your frequency of unconditional love. But they are also extremely pulled in by it, and that is the paradox here. Because the masculine I'm channeling into here is simultaneously deeply intrigued by the frequency that you hold, by the energy that you radiate. And at the same time, it's almost like they find themselves being magnetically pulled to you, so irresistibly that it scares them. I'm hearing them say, I feel like I can't stop it. With hostilities upright, this card seems to represent this masculine fighting themselves. It's almost like every time they find themselves, for some reason, I keep seeing a masculine smiling and laughing and just being. It's like visibly written on his face how intrigued he is, how infatuated he is by this divine feminine. Whether he is exemplifying these facial expressions when the two of you are physically together, or even in some cases, I'm seeing him looking at his phone if you're texting or calling and just getting the biggest smile on his face. Take this as it does connect with you. But what I'm picking up is this masculine is. I'm hearing others are noticing as well. It's like he is visibly showing how infatuated he is by a divine feminine here. From divine muscular. Type yes, if you believe.